It's raining. It's raining. Stormy weather is not fun. Hello. Oh, how's it going? Can you see me? Getting there. Good morning, people. Good morning. Welcome back to, to the vlog. <gasps> it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. What's the time? 10.42. It's a Wednesday morning and it's raining. I had a pasta bake for lunch. I'm very happy. Not a full pasta bake, I admit. I, I had pasta bake the other night. I don't know. But I, I, and then I had the leftovers today. It was very nice. I had a good lunch. Um, Because it's a Wednesday. You and me. It's Q&A time everyone, that means that I are a brat. Uh, this is the part in the vlog where I answer one of your questions to the best of my ability with the whole and honest truth. Now today's question is, uh, what societies are you going to be joining? And I don't know, uh, there's a few I want to try out. A few I'm definitely going to go to, such as the Ultimate Frisbee team. I'm a big fan of Ultimate Frisbee, so I'm going to try and join the Ultimate Frisbee team. I'll have to see when I'm there, but sports wise those, maybe. I'm not really a sporty type of guy. Maybe one of the stage performances would be an absolutely amazing experience. Join the film societies, I'm pretty sure they have a TV channel there, so I would get involved with all of that stuff. Don't you worry. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. That's enough time we have for you and me time. Wow, for one week we actually have a decent question. Thank you for that. I just really, I, I don't really have a lot of footage for yesterday's vlog because I was really busy, so that's also on my list for today. I've got a lot of stuff to do for today. I, I'm a busy boy. I'm a very busy, busy bee. Uh, it's one o'clock now. And I've just finished the vlog, so I've got to post that. Long day. It's a very, very long day. Quite honestly, my Gorilla Pod, I'm actually worried about it. I feel like it might be broken, like just a tad. It's, it's, it's neck keeps snapping. Please don't do that. It's, uh, it's quite dark today. Sorry about that. Can you see me now? But yeah, I'm looking forward to lift off. It's coming out on Saturday. And I've got another film to come out after that. Nightlight, what, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been doing much work on. Mainly, I'm really procrastinating with this project because it's not, I don't, I'm not sure about it. Oh, I'm still thinking about that pasta baker I had earlier, that was amazing. My dad's um, hard at work. What film did I watch the other day? It's very much something. I started watching Skins, and may I just say, the first two episodes of Skins are absolutely phenomenal. The first two episodes are crazy, like crazy good. Some really good scenes and um, characters I like. I might be watching more of that. I'm really hungry still. Oh, what vlog is it? It's vlog 103, isn't it? I'm gonna grab some food. I wanna do a video for people who are coming to the UK and wanna know what to get. If I was gonna do a video, custard creams, get a custard cream. Right, now I gotta edit Charlie's thing. So I forgot to do it yesterday. Uh, that's another thing I can take off my list. Ah! Today I'm going to be telling you about um, some tips for A-levels. This is for people who are going into sixth form or college. It doesn't really matter uh, if you're doing A-levels or if you're doing a B-tech as well. Uh, this is video is kind of for you. I've just finished mine. I just got my results back. So this is kind of coming from me who's done my A-levels. So here's just a few pointers, a few tips just to help you out. Get through these two years that, you know, depending on how you see it, can either be a brilliant two years or the worst two years of your life. So let's go all the way back down to the beginning. Let's say you're in year 11 and you're trying to decide where to go. If you want to do what you want to do, if you found something you really want to pursue, now's the time to take it to the next level. I'd say research places that do your course. Don't look at a place because of it's a certain school or your friends are going there. Look at a place because it has a good course, it has a good teacher and it leads on to good opportunities. One thing with college slash sixth form that I loved is that if you didn't have a lesson you didn't have to be in but they strongly advised it and I'd strongly advise to that. You know it's called having a free period. When you go to A level you're probably studying three to four A levels or you're doing three to four courses worth of time scheduled education. And depending on the way how you look at it, it could be a good or a bad thing. I saw it as a great thing. I absolutely love those free periods. I could do what I want. And at the college I went to, we had loads of space to hang about. We had a library as well as a cafe, quad meeting area, common room type thing. And then there's loads of other places you can hang around in the college. If you're near a town, we could just stroll into town and go to like a Starbucks or something. It was great. I love that. But then also there's the downside of it being like you have a lot of time to do stuff. It's quite hard to be motivated if you're surrounded by all these people. But then it's just about putting yourself in the right situation to work. Just figure out where you where you study best. Personally, I spent quite a lot of time in the library. They were very strict in there, so I felt like I had to work. But they were the conditions I was under. By the end of second year, I was hanging around my departments working within there. So I didn't have to wear uniform at my college, what I loved. I felt like I matured a lot in the two years I was at college. But no, I had a brilliant time. But when you're picking your college, make sure you speak to your teachers. Try and get a one-to-one -one kind of talk to understand the course. Make sure you know mainly most stuff on the course. Not only just to know if you're going to like it, but also if you do like it, you can get a head start. You're watching films that you have to watch. Or reading books or, or studying studies by other scientists if you're doing stuff related to science. Researching people you're going to be studying before you go to the course is a great way to get started and it almost kind of relieves the pressure than the heavy dump and it might leave you feeling overwhelmed. For instance, if you're studying something like film, 
You can go on the course specification, find what films there are, and try and watch the ones that you can. Right, so you're at college now. You're at college. Always bring a notepad. Um, I don't really know what the situation is with other schools and other sixth forms and study. We didn't get like a textbook that you'd usually get, workbook or however you call it. Just line, uh, just a line paper pad is always brilliant to bring for like the first days, and then you can find out if you're going to get a book or not. Take care of your textbook. Like the unit is owned by the school, and you can get fined if it's in bad condition, and that is not fun. Maybe before going to your first lesson. And just find out where your classes are. Do you have an idea? You know, that one person who's like, and colleges are a mate. They're an absolute mate. So try and get your bearings. Where you've had five years at secondary school, now you have two years till your exams. So you have all this time to kind of have fun as you start worrying about exams. Here, here you have to think all the time that you're going to have an exam pending. That's you kind of have to have that mentality. It's just something you have to accept. Depressing, I know. <laughs> um, you have to always think about when the next exam is and you're doing an exam. It can be stressful. Just know at the end of this, you're going to have an exam. Obviously, we didn't because of pandemic. But for exam prep, as soon as you can, find out when your exam timetable is. Find out when your exams are. Get down on a diary. Get a diary. That's another thing I forgot. Oh, my God. Yeah, second year can be pretty stressful because it's kind of a bit intense. But just know when your exams are. And if you have one coming up, just dedicate some time to study for it. But also, don't be stressed if you get it wrong. You know, in the famous words of astronauts... We have to fail down here so we don't fail up there. Fail before the exam, but you're less likely to fail on the exam. Don't be afraid to fail now. That's a, that's a good tip, I'd say. So there are my tips for A-levels. So yeah, that's kind of just for future A-level students. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, I can only offer from what experiences I've had. So if you have any questions about BTEC specifically, I could probably offer more help with that. But as well as A-level in terms of film stuff, feel free to ask me questions. I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. But yeah, just it's going to be it's gonna be fine it's gonna be all right hopefully this helped out at least one person if it didn't then i apologize tried my hardest thank you for joining me today as always if you enjoyed make sure you hit subscribe as well as liking the video comment down below what you want to see next uh, and a few fun videos planned so make sure you stick around for that i don't really know what i'm gonna do tomorrow so we will see <laughs> let me drop my camera